Hey guys, in, the, in this video, I'll cover five tips that will make you a better drummer. Let's go. All right, so tip number one, always stay relaxed because if you're gonna be tight all the time, you're gonna lose your speed and you're gonna lose your sound. You're not gonna, get, you're not gonna have good sound, you're not gonna have good speed, and you're not gonna feel the music and you're not gonna be able to improvise well. So I'm gonna show you relaxed versus not relaxed. So. It's like three times better, maybe even five times better. So stay relaxed, have better sound and all that stuff. Number two, always uh, make sure that your drums are set up the way you like it, the way it is comfortable for you. Because if you are on a, like for example, uh, if you, uh, you know, go to your friend's house and he plays drums as well, or she. And the drums there are like, you, it's so uncomfortable, like the toms are here, like you don't like it. That person likes it, but you don't, so you won't be able to play it well. The only way, I mean, it's not the only way you can get used to stuff, but always make sure that your drum is that your drums are set up the way you want it and the way they are comfortable for you in order to get the best speed the best comfortability the best relaxation and feel of the music so, tip number three make sure you have good sticks bad sticks don't get them if you found a stick brand that you don't even know about and nobody knows about it, it's not famous, it's bad. I mean, it might be good, of course, but I suggest you getting the good brands. Vic Firth is one of the best brands. Zildjian sticks are pretty good, I use them a lot. I use Vic Firth and Zildjian a lot. Vader sticks are one of the best as well, they're known for their good durability. durability. They literally, they break very slowly compared to the other sticks. And yeah, always make sure you have good sticks and always make sure that you have uh, the type of stick that you like, the sound that you like out of them. So it depends on the thickness of your stick, the, the tip of your stick. And uh, yeah, so always make sure to find the sticks that you like and find the sound of the stick that you like. Moving on. So tip number four, I suggest you when you're playing, uh, when you're recording a video or you're recording a song on drums or you're, you know, you're playing in front of a lot of people on a concert or on a jam or whatever, you, whatever it is, I suggest you to have like a pair of drumsticks for each, a different pair of drumsticks for each style of music. So if you're going to play dra jazz, you're going to get the thinner, uh, types of drumsticks, the 7A or whatever, and you're going to play with them. If you're going to play rock, you're going to get the thick ones. So uh, that way you're going to get the best sound for, you know, the type of music that you're playing. You're going to get the best sound out of it, and you're going to be a good drummer, and you're going to play better. It is like a very, very, very small difference, but it can make a big change. <laughs> All right, so now moving on to tip five, the last tip, and that is, it's a small tip, of course, but uh, when you're playing your bass drum, do you know that, you know that, you know, different shoes give you different techniques, right? You know that, right? So, <coughs> always 
make sure to use the shoes or socks or whatever you use that make your technique on the beige jump best. I use slippers. <laughs> Actually, I don't care what I use. I don't care. But, you know, it's a very, made, a very small change. But if you're playing on a concert, if you're playing in front of a lot of people or on a recording, something important, make sure you have uh, the shoes that make you best at bass drum. So, you know, some people actually, some drummers, some famous drummers, literally play bare feet on a concert stage because it's more comfortable for them to play bare, bare feet. I don't like bare feet. I never use bare feet. I never use socks either. Uh, for me, you know, sneakers are very good for drums. For drums because, you know, they're kind of slippery, so you can go slippery, slippery. But, and at the same time, you can get that good grip. So, it depends on what kind of person you are and what kind of style you're playing. But, always make sure your shoes are good for your bass drum. Bonus tip, bonus tip, bonus tip. Bonus tip, it's not actually five tips, there's six tips in this video because there's a bonus tip and the bonus tip is that you gotta figure out what, what grip you're playing, man. It's either match grip or traditional grip. You can't go mixed, I mean you can go mixed, but to get the better performance, it's either matched or traditional. Because if you play both, you're not gonna be that good. You know, you're gonna have 50-50 skill on both. However, when you play one type of grip, you're gonna have 100% of all your skill into that one grip, which makes you super good. I use traditional grip because I like it more. You know, when you're a beginner, you should use match grip because just use match grip. And then you should uh, try learning traditional grip. If you like it, switch to it because it's very good. Trust me, learning it is bad, very annoying, but when you learn it, in my opinion, it's a lot better than traditional grip. I mean, than the match grip. I like traditional grip. So, yeah, this is the end for the video. This was five tips to make you a better drummer. Plus a bonus tip, so six tips. Six tips to make you a better drummer. I hope that you become a better drummer after this video. I'm gonna have more videos coming on this channel. More, uh, you know, drum covers. Uh, more guides, more lessons. You know, a lot of different stuff on my channel, so subscribe. I hope my head is visible, because... Is my head visible? Yeah, my head is visible. So subscribe. Comment down below more says that... Well, I can't speak. Comment down below suggestions of which what other videos you want me to make. Like this video. Subscribe to never miss any cool epic content and also uh, follow me on my instagram drum hit official and dm me there if you want to have online individual drum lessons and this is what i'm gonna tell you uh when you're learning from videos like this it's gonna take you a year to learn something you know to what am i saying basically what i'm trying to say is that individual learning with a teacher that actually teaches you in particular is at least twice as fast than watching videos by yourself so follow me okay so follow me on instagram and dm me there if you want individual lessons of course follow me on youtube because there's going to be like hundreds of new videos coming yes